Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? It is Jane Pearl Bang back with another message for the collective. Thank you guys so much for all the um the love you've been sending me. Always sending it back. Mwah. Now, listen, this person, <laughs> they wanna first of all, let, let's let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I hate to start it like this collective, but this person wants to overpower you in some sort of way. Um, now this is going to be a lover or not for some of you guys. Just take it where it resonates. This is going to be, um, not for everyone. Um, take what's for you and leave the rest. But let's get into it deep diving because we got, I, I, I want to save the deep stuff for later. But you see, we have irreconcilable differences. Divorce, final. Okay. So something's very final and this person is not happy about it. So it's definitely a relationship for a lot of you guys um business somebody i just keep seeing somebody like in a high rise like um business suite as well roller coaster look at that thank you spirit with the roller coaster so that is confirmation that there's a, been a lot of um ups and downs with this connection but the person must be in non-communication with you so this is a non-communicate this is looking like a non-communication reading but we will see locked down yep this divine masculine is locked down because now they realize that you were their soulmate they must not not have known what soulmate was before but they're confined in this so this is they're confined to who they think a divine masculine is instead of just figuring out who they are they're trying to be like someone else here and now that they found out that they are soulmate they want to pop back up into your life and they want you to settle for them um they want you to be in, in agreement with them um, you guys, some of you guys, your money is tied up with this person. Um, if it's not physical money, it's definitely in the ethers here because either way we put it, there's an agreement and compromise this person wants to make with you. But I just feel like it was up and down, up and down until you finally had enough. Um, but this person is very manipulative because they see you in the six of wands. They see you winning and shining. It's like they see me rolling. They hate it. I definitely see that you overcame this though. So yeah um we'll get into it and see what they want to say but yeah i know they're stressed out and they're not telling you this okay um but they they really see you shining they see you having fun they see you signing a lot of checks expanding opening up businesses you could be you're probably the one that's about to get this high rise it could be your apartment as well like one of those corporate looking apartments not necessarily take it where it resonates but court work has been filed so whatever settlement you're waiting on to come in that's yeah, that's that's something on on their mind. Like, mm. so for some of you guys, like maybe you, mm, I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, so I feel like this person was working on a lot of things on the back end. They could have been dealing with other people that they were making promises to, and it came back to bite them in the butt. Okay, so this is this is very much in their they're in their head about that. They can't stop thinking about it. It's like they know that the karma is directly from you, and they just want to settle. They just want to pay you. They're like, please, they want to. Like, it's almost like they want to pay you for your forgiveness because they don't know how to get themselves out of lockdown. Like, all they got to do is shadow work. But this person is overthinking it. And what's interesting is the longer that you guys are out of communication with this person, the 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 bigger the person is making the problem in their own head. You know, this is why they say, you know, you know, see your spiritual counselors, see your actual counselor, whatever it is for you here. But um, like this person needs to do that. But they definitely miss seeing you. But I don't think it's child let's see they said they miss seeing you but the thing about it is i just feel like somebody was blocking you let's get into it somebody was blocking the witch here they see how powerful and magical that you are some and sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell child so they they have a lot of blockages in their life and they're not understanding that this is just payback from your ancestors to theirs your ancestors had a communication with their ancestors and they you know it's like what are we going to do about this because look it's right here in the cards i did see another reader saying something like that too and look, that's what the cards say. It's like this person put you through a lot of up and downs. Like, I feel like when you came into this person's life, they started winning. And <laughs> on the back end, they were doing a lot of this. They could have also been like playing up and down with people that they were broken up with while they were with you. See, they don't want you to know that. That could be something that was, you were blinded by that. And that was playing with your intuition. And this is why that was a big no-no from the spirit. So this person has to pay. This is just simple karmic balance because this person didn't know how powerful you were, how many, um, like how many things you had at your hand. But anyway, this person didn't know that you were the light. Like they're so arrogant that they really didn't put two and two together that when you came in their life is when they started winning. They thought it was all they're doing <laughs> as if, 
because they're arrogant. So this is a person that doesn't even want to do shadow work. We got the dark night of the soul right here because this person is, see, they were leaning into their dark side a lot, not knowing that you had it right along with them. You were just trying to be kind. But for those of you guys who were like, you know, spiritual workers or something, yeah, you know what it takes. You know that it's a balance. So you can't just be too nice or whatever. Okay, but it says they have a dark side that no one knows. Um, and they feel it's their true side, but they're too for afraid to show you. So this person was always ghosting you. Hold on, I'm trying to get my light in right. Hold on. Okay, child. So it's like they um, they are experiencing a massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of, um, of love with themselves and the connection. So they had to get pulled out of here because they were... It, see, they just were leaning into their dark side too much and they were not having balance and control you're more balanced so in order for this person to come back around they'd have to really really balance their energy um but i feel like they'd have to balance their balance their energy out how excuse me but i feel like they're just going through it bitch because they they might be child let's see it's a losing battle though i literally it like spirit guided you to back back because yeah like you already knew like i feel like you poured a lot of love you poured your heart into this situation you you were trying to be very open and honest but and I, I feel like you really saw this see you were sticking it out through the ups and downs because you really saw it like see because you're in this witch energy see this is you whether you you whether you call yourself a witch or not this is just like big healer vibes somebody that's very wise you have manifesting powers whatever it is they know that you're very magical and when you came in is when st stuff is happening 111 yeah but they were blind to that spirit was hiding you Spirit had cloaked your energy because she has a robe on. There's another robe and a robe. Yeah, it's a lot of robes here. Yep. Yeah. So you were cloaked because they spirit their spirit team and yours. They had to see what this person was going to do, and they dropped the ball. Clearly, they were leaning into their dark side, and some people there could have been they just somebody could be left handed. This person and for some of you guys, but I just but as soon as you cut this off, this is when you started winning. So yeah, this person they expect i don't know it's like expect conversation from this person but i just think it's more because they they baby they know the light when they feel it baby they ain't been right ever since you left them <laughs> they the reason why they're going through this is because of what they did to you and they know that because this is divinely got you're very divinely guided they know that <laughs> they feel like they met your their divine flame in you just follow the signs because you i feel like some of you guys, I don't, I don't really think this is your, they want to be your person. They might think you're their twin flame, soulmate, whatever it is, but I don't know. I just think like, why does this person have to push you all the way to this and lie to you? I feel like this person was lying to themselves. That's what it's giving. It's like, almost like you feel sorry for this person. Does that make sense? Like they're just not even, we're not trying to be bullies. It's just like they, you know, everything was recorded in the Akashic record. So it's really up to this person. So if this person is willing to do the divine work like you did, then okay, maybe, but I just don't know if they're willing to do it. Yeah, there's, this person's coming apart. Like, I don't think they could take the heat. They said meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Listen, you are forcing this person to shed. Bro, every time you, you get around somebody, it, it forces them to, to shed their old self and, and boss up. They're like, whoa, that's why they really think you guys fell on them. But they don't know that really you're just minding your business. It's because you took your energy up off them. They forgot that part. See, you must, some of you guys, you were probably dealing with this person for a while with the, with the divorce. This is like a marriage situation, a serious, either a marriage situation or somebody that you really could have seen yourself with long term. Because there is going to be situationships as well on the table. It's, you know, because it's not all about, all about the title. It's about the energy. You think spirit just cares about the energy. And with this energy here, this is someone who really hurt you. It could have, this also pushed you more into your dark side. Because this person played with you for the last time. And bam, you came out like a dang on angel. They, they don't know what to do. They're like, oh my gosh, I done made a mistake. But so when it comes to your true soulmate, whoever that may be. It really starts with yourself. A lot of you guys are probably already with the next person you're going to be with, or maybe you're not. But I definitely see that you're you were going you're still going through a lot of healing. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul, and everything will occur, occur in divine timing. See, and now they feel like they're hearing a lot of telepathic messages happening because you've been releasing this person who was acting cold that was always giving into temptation. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. Yeah, this person was just lusting after you, uh, hiding it as love to try to get in on your family tree. They knew you were from a, 
They knew you were made of good roots, child. But spirit is telling you, like, they could feel the energy on you, child. They don't know what they, they can smell the pheromones, like my face say. Look, they just, you know, they can smell it on you. They know that they want to reproduce with you and stuff. It's very animalistic. Um, but they feel like you're the one that slipped away. There it is. Though they never had you, to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chance that they didn't take. Thank you, spirit. That's confirmation that this is a heavy, like, this is one of those deep ass situations. So, you know, like, those, I ain't gonna lie, those be low-key cute too. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely in, the, in a relationship, okay? But I do understand if that's where you, wherever people are in your life, just do whatever makes you happy and do what is, you know, helping your bloodline and helping yourself, whatever you're called to do. As long as you're not hurting nobody, everything else is an extra. So anyway, back to you. This energy, I see it. It was, it was probably a lot of fun times. It was a lot of deep emotions in this, in this. Because this Virgo, Scorpio energy, like, I feel like you guys could have, I feel like y'all talked to this person. They didn't believe you when you told them what you were going through with your spiritual awakenings for some of y'all. They just didn't see it. It's like, and what sucks and is sad about the situation is this person, it's not even that, well, some of them, they just didn't want to see it. But some of them, they just were only able to experience it from the um, level of consciousness that they were at. So you saw what could, what what could be come from this situation but i don't think this person did it and they must have taken advantage yeah this person definitely and because of that they're paying through dark night of the soul they better be glad that's all they're paying with because you're not the type of you're not the type of person to throw something at them you know what i mean i don't know if you did or not but if you did i know it was for good reason but i really don't feel like you did i feel like you just took your energy back and moved on because you had to go through your own dark night of the soul so you're like bro i don't have enough space for this that's what my partner said it's like you don't have space for certain things when you're winning and you guys are clearly winning that's why they're thinking so much about you so they whatever they they don't the reason why they ain't saying that is because they ain't got nothing to say they're not on your level and they know that so they're in denial they were they were in denial but the more denial they are about you woo, the harder things are for them and they're starting to really see that i feel like this is definitely what's happening they don't want you to know this but you know now coldness because they're just trying to be too cold they feel you but but you're you you've pulled the energy back they know they can't feel you anymore it says they feel you pulling away they wish that they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping careful and be mindful if anybody's trying to do some root on you okay spiritual bath spiritual cleansing is always a one okay spiritual um hygiene okay and you know we're all we're humans it's not you know Take it one step at a time, but just, you know, implement one new practice a day or however you want to do it. You talk to your spirit team on that, but it says their vivid dreams haunt them, child. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with somebody else. Man, this is like the worst news they could have ever gotten. They really thought you were never going to move on, but this is a divine intervention because spirit was like, uh-uh. They was tired of them playing in your face, trying to make you, it's like you, it was a battle of the wits. You had to always prove yourself with this person. It's like they were always trying to outsmart you. And Spirit was like, that's not what they put. That's not what they put you into this person's life for. So the fact that they were trying to play with you. Oh, boy. They thought you were lying. They thought you weren't really who you said you were. They thought you weren't. It's not, <laughs> They thought that their eyes were playing tricks on them. It's like they could have been really jealous of what you had going on. Because you're connected to something that's divine, child. And they don't. They <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. So. They feel the pull away, but they don't want to give up now. Oh, my God. It's like the, the more you pull away, the more they, they want to pull you back in. But it says, until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Yeah, this love is a battlefield. And I don't see you letting it down no time soon. A lot of you guys are could very well be with somebody else. Because with this type of energy, people is going to scoop you off the market quick. And it's like, anytime you go through like a heavy karmic energy like that it really pushes you and it sends you right into your spiritual awakening bam because it's like it's one thing to be aware of the knowledge but to walk in it walk in it and live it that's different that's called like active you know like active prayer that's you know and i feel like that's where you're that's where you're at with it they're experiencing many <laughs> listen y'all they are experiencing many tower moments. Let me get the light. Okay. In their life. It says they're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Oh, so now that's what I'm saying. After you pull back your energy, ooh, things was falling left and right. Their business, I don't, 
listen, somebody was really started losing their game, especially with the divine intervention in front of Battle of the Wits. Ooh, some of them might not even really like some of them. See now this, okay. You also want to consider if this person even has a connection to the divine, because if they don't have a connection to the divine, then when bad stuff starts happening to them, they might not even see it as what they did to you. They might just try to take it out on you, not knowing <laughs> taking it out on you is just making it worse. It's just like, so I feel like either way you slice it with this person, it's like, I mean, some of you guys are going to hear this person out or whatever, but I just feel like. Mm -mm. I just feel like you're, you're being you're being guided to be cold. Yeah, because they are definitely planning. Look at that. They're planning. Thank you, spirit. Thank you so much for coming through. Because see, right through. They're planning right now to come towards you and ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Wow. But I just feel like they are still guarded. They're very much in their Mars energy. <laughs> War, you know. I feel like they're going through a lot of misfortune at this time. Because see, now it's time to pay the piper. Because you're not the only person they played with, okay? This person, this person probably has gifts themselves that they just don't know about. Look, wow, I didn't even notice at the bottom. I can't make it up. Power couple. They see that both of you have an equal exchange of power. Oh, now they see that. <laughs> equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. <laughs> and listen, now they're haunted, huh, baby. They're haunted because they know that whoever you get with now, whoever you with now, or that you about to get with, baby, they are fucking jealous. They're like, no, they need, look, it was 11 and 11 when I said that. They, you're all, <laughs> child, they want to beg, plead, all that. They are probably, I, they're watching your social media. I mean, they're definitely sending you heavy telepathic messages too, because look, uh, lightning, like, I just feel like you know the truth and they're haunted. They, they don't know, they want... <sighs> They're scared that you know everything. It's a lot going on because, see, they're going through this awakening at the same time. It's like a lot hitting them at one time. It's like all the roller coasters they put you through, they're going through that plus worse. Yeah, because they gave into their lustful desires. There's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your your um, desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Yep. They wanted to play with you. But spirit was like, uh-uh. That's why spirit guided you to leave their butts behind because they said, uh, uh this is all coming to an end. I'm about to pull them apart. They said, yeah, all that luck that they had from the spirit and the serendipity because they kept leaving. See, this is the part is they got arrogant and now they're coming apart. But we're going to get into that. I don't want to beat them up. What is this? Thank you, spirit. Old wounds. Yeah, they kept trying to blame you for old stuff. See, they don't know how to move on. But look at that. Wow. And they knew from from way back when that the gods was favoring you. They just was trying to hide it from you. They was hating because they wanted that from you. Like some of you guys take this where, where it resonates. But I'm telling you, for those of you guys who are really intuitive and like if you're dealing with somebody who you really love, they probably are intuitive too. Maybe, I don't know. I'm saying like, even if y'all never thought about it, think about it, dude. Some of y'all already know this, but some of y'all, even if you didn't think about it, just give it a chance. Think about it. They're... They have unhealed childhood wounds that prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships, okay? And it says, now is the time that God's favor you. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. So they heard you. See, they saw everything that happened. They saw all the messed up stuff that they did to you because of their own childhood wounds that they were blaming you for. That was the divine intervention. They, they just weren't ready for that. I feel like... Yeah, but now so it's time for them to do inner child healing with these little people. It's like, I feel like this person, this has been this person this whole time. They've been experiencing their reality as if they're not part of it. But now spirit is forcing them to sit in it, right? Like sit, instead of being outside looking in, they're going to be inside that now they're going to be, they're switching roles. It's really deep. I hope you guys are, are getting what I'm saying, but that's, they're experiencing many tired moments to bring them back to earth, to shake them up because they think that money and power means anything. And it doesn't because you can't take it with you. I'm not saying it doesn't. We appreciate that. Of course, I never mean any, but at the end of the day, the gods are, are in favor of you. So anyone, it's like this person is just in the crosswinds. They really are scared. They, it's like they really want to hit you up to get this off of them. Like, but you didn't put nothing on them. Yeah, because they were gossiping about this relationship that y'all had to their friends. They were telling people stuff about you. See, and then it's like, see, they had some of you guys feeling like you wish you would have never told them anything. You wish that you would have kept it to yourself. It's like, you wish you never would have told them how you feel about your craft, about them, about what you went through, whatever it is here. 
some of you guys work multiple jobs and sometimes it weighs on you maybe you're going through stuff with your kids you know take it where it resonates whatever but with your parents but this person been carrying a torch for you all along but they've been unable to confess their love due to the fear of rejection yeah for some of you guys this person never even said that they loved you or maybe they just <clears throat> they just like try to make you force it out of them or something i don't know but this person didn't make you feel like you could be vulnerable. Like it was hard to be vulnerable. See, that, that was a control um, tactic. So they probably always put you in this battlefield mentally so that whenever they did give you any sliver of, a I don't know, affection, like that it just came off as like so caring. I don't know. This person is, is a meticulous fool. But anyway, you, they see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation in marriage. But of course they do because look at you okay they're waiting patiently for you to come back around but i just don't really see that happening um because i feel like they have chaos around them they have drama queens around them um but they do miss seeing you and they are waiting let's see hold on let's see one more for a breakthrough brewing up yep a breakthrough is brewing up for you as well see your your light has been touching people so bad now they're haunted by the by what they didn't do with you. Like, oh my God, I should have never said this to, to Jane's Collective. I should have never did such and such. Like, no, like, why would I ever do that? Look, I would do it all again. They want to be with you so bad because they see the drip on you, baby. They see the anointing on your life. Whoa, you guys are glowing up. Like, this group is really like a big glow up group. Like, you're a strong group. And look, they miss. I miss hearing your voice. So some of you guys might use your voice to make money. Like, or like influence i meant you just influence people like i feel like you spoke a lot of life into this person because you do walk with the spirit and they really see that now and they don't look i don't know what to do i don't know what comes next okay let's see three two for battle of the wits and unspoken okay okay three thank you two and one what does this person want to tell the collective thank you spirit i don't know how to feel yeah, because you they think that you changed, but they don't know you've just grown into yourself. You 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 pulled the chains off of you, baby. You started pushing through. You went to your own breakthroughs. I'm telling you, you started, I'm telling you, COVID really changed a lot of people how they felt about stuff. I had my feelings. And this person is still on old vibrations because they don't know how to feel. They need security. There it is. So this person is too focused on on material things, material wealth, and their money. Like their home life, their cars, their some of them, this could be somebody that is still dipping with their ex-wife or husband or ex that they have kids. Like, just take it where it resonates. It's just that someone who just, they're too focused on like, I don't know, like the 3D, like the pentacles. But they need to be a little bit more, fo they have to be more spiritually grounded and emotionally grounded to deal with someone like you. And that's why they play in their dark side because... See, when you're talking about div the divine, it's like, what type of divine are we talking about? When somebody says they're spiritual, what type of spiritual? When you're like, oh, my, I'm going to pray for you. Okay, well, who are you praying to? Because everybody don't pray to the same God. So I don't know. Like, I'm not saying to be in everybody's business. But when it comes to this person, it's a matter of y'all don't share the same values. So they saved your text messages. And they know that, bro. They know that you're out of their league, bro. I feel like they, they missed their chance. They know that. And they feel like they regret it. Somebody's a water sign here, either you or them. But I just really feel like it could be also Gemini, Gemini energy here. But they miss hearing your voice and they would do it all again. Yeah, look. Something wasn't right. Yes, because I feel like with you and your divine counterpart, y'all together are figuring out the mysteries and the BS about things that have been blocked from you so that you could start you could be able to, to operate out of your heart space. See, this goes really deep because you guys are operating to the Hierophant energy. See, the person that you're supposed to be with, your real person, you, they're in Hierophant energy. Like, it's like people look to you for advice specifically around matters of the heart. I feel like you're being gifted um, like a marriage here. You're being gifted like something's being built slowly. I feel like it's a lot. Not even slowly, just like behind the scenes. Like you're going at a regular pace. You're actually probably going a lot faster than people realize that. But you are being cloaked at this time, even from this person. Like you're being cloaked from a lot of people because they, your spirit team wants these. The universe is making these people earn their slot. For a lot of these people, you are their karma. You are their teacher in some ways. Like we all teach each other. 
but you guys got the witch with dark side just the way the cards are aligning it's letting me know that you've seen through the fog and this is why they couldn't mess with you this is why they had an issue with you truly this is what they don't want you to know is that they truly had an issue with the fact that um they truly had an issue with the fact that they couldn't lie to you anymore see when they first met you you toned it down you, you probably were still figuring yourself out with these books right here. I feel like you were studying yourself. You were still probably going through the motions. You know, you were probably even more more like unaware. I think you probably were more um, sleep, a little bit less awakened when you met this person. But I feel like not no more, child. And they don't know what to do about it. They are scared. They're like, please. They just That's why they keep looking at your text messages and your social media. And they just keep replaying stuff in their head. Because now it's like really the, like it's beating them up. Because... See, the same way that the, the way that this person set you into a spiritual awakening because they played on you, now it's sending them there. It's also sending them into a spiritual awakening because they play on themselves. <laughs> you see how that works? Yin and yang. So this person is going through it. So yeah, definitely expect um, a lot of you guys have this person on blocks. Um, yeah, but they definitely want to contact you. They're going to, I wouldn't be surprised if they do some wild stuff like download a child message you on WhatsApp or something because they want to build a relationship with you. But I just feel like, they're just too worried about that. I feel like, see, they have to walk into this with a pure heart. See, they have to really, this person is going to have, this, they're having trouble with releasing the outcome, like releasing attachment to the outcome. It's called like the law of detachment. There's a lot of things into play here, but you're a multi-layered being, being, and I feel like this person thought they had one up on you at one point, but now they feel like you have one up on them. Because God's been moving through your life. The universe has been moving through your life because you've been moving through your own life. You took your power back. Ooh. I can't look at that. The devil. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You overcame this devil. Because they were trying to put you in a dark place. Like, I feel like they wanted you to be where they were. Like, misery loves company. But look, you moved on with your own lover. You said, nah, I'm not... You really, I'm telling you, those of you guys who have been wondering if there's something you should have done better, no. You probably overextended yourself. This is why they don't know how to feel because they need security. You are their security. And it says, um, be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum, baby. You are shining bright. And this person sees that. And now they see how freaking powerful and magical that you always were. But no, they wanted to walk away. They're the ones that caused the uh, up and down and then they wanted to walk away as if they were, they the grass was greener. Some of them could have really embarrassed you and moved on with somebody else, like proud this person around. Look, like had her on the top of the car, like doing the most, like probably took this person out of town. Like child, they could have really been doing the most and that person could have pulled out some lies. Listen, it gets deep, but this person, so just know that this person is getting backhanded plus worse because they should have never played with you. They didn't really know who you were, but that's okay. Forgive this person and move on. Yeah, I feel like this had to happen so you could find forgiveness in your heart. I'm not saying to forget or even take this person back. But I am saying that it's good that you made it through this. I'm proud of you guys because this put, child, this pushed you further. They don't know what to do. They thought they was going to break you down, but it did the opposite. It pushed you way forward. So they don't know what to do now. <laughs> This person could have told you, this, this person could have had an issue with you did with what you did before, or this person could have not belie believed in you. I feel like this was a heavy energy of somebody just didn't believe in what was going on with you. They also thought that, they also thought for some of you guys that whenever you expressed to them the ups and downs that you were going through um, about your business, it could be a business that I'm talking about, not just like, you know, something ending. I feel like Maybe you were going through trials and tribulations when you met this person and you overcame that, they, but they didn't see it for you. You told them, you said, I'm just getting it together. You probably told them a lot, but secretly they were, because they were on their dark side, they didn't believe in their self. They probably got people around them who bully them and talk shit about them. That's what they're used to. They're used to frenemies. So they thought that that was going to be what you were, but she was like, absolutely not. Look, three of swords, she was like, no. Nah. I just heard Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Unbreak My Heart. Unbreak My Heart. Say you love me again. No. They say put you in a third party, some of you guys. But either way, they were just always letting you down because they just didn't see see it for you. And that's because they were jealous of you. Okay. So thank you, Spirit. Go ahead and drop off any cards. What is, let's see. What's the advice here? What's the advice here? What, 
What's the advice for the collective? Thank you. Towards this person. <laughs> Make that change. <laughs> Don't let them fight with you. Yeah. So this person... They're trying to make you... Listen, so... The advice is, baby, don't let the gossip get to you. But listen, fight. Fight. Okay? You better fight for, for, for yourself. Because, you know, you and Spirit, y'all work together to, to pull yourself out of this. Like, just remember how bad this person treated you. Because this person is coming back, and they're coming back hard. I feel like they're even going to come back on a spiritual tip for some of you guys. It's going to be real interesting energy that y'all are dealing with it's gonna feel like <laughs> i don't this is not the real thing but it's gonna feel like it's not even gonna feel like the real thing it's gonna feel like this isn't too bad to settle for but it is i feel like you can have exactly what you ask for as long as when you like whenever you're writing stuff down and asking for it don't try not to put in like you know what uh race and and uh height and all that you know just Say more qualities, you know what I'm saying? And just leave it a little, leave some things open and then you'll bring in exactly what's meant for you. And that's what we be meaning about. It comes in a different package. But yeah, this person is, child, they're getting their butts whooped. And they see you succeed and they see you shining. So yeah, they're telling you to keep freaking shining. And don't forget how this person lied on you and gossiped on you and talked shit about you to these people. Wow. They talked all that smack about you to the third party. And they were spying on you. See, they even had some of you guys that had somebody. These people spying on you. Somebody trying to play with somebody's job here for some of you guys. Something to do with your money or your security, how you how you pay your bills, how you take care of your family, your business. This is a mixture too. This is a sneaky son of a gun. This is a dark person, yeah, because they're, they're bringing in changes. I feel like let the changes happen. I feel like you're being celebrated at this time because you didn't back down. So remember that. Just remember that, that you and spirit pulled you through this because this person just wants a piece of your fortune. That's really what they want. Now they want to, they see you as a true, they want to change for you. They want to change because their ass is on fire. Look at your spirit team handling them. So clarify five of wands for us, please. Thank you. Yeah, because they, they try to... Because this, remember that this person clouded your connection to spirit. So you're basically not allowed to be with them. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. you're not allowed to be with them. Because also for some of you guys, if this person had third-party attachment, this is only for some of you guys. Don't make it fit if it doesn't. But that person was throwing like chaos magic at you. Like, yeah, they were fighting with your person a lot about you. Like, you guys are a topic of conversation. Because this person, because the girl, the person or the girl or the guy involved that's a third party felt like the reason why the this person we're talking about, they they thought that the, the, the other person, okay, they thought that your person, my bad, wasn't with them because they were trying to be with you. So they're throwing shit at you when that's, it has nothing to do with you. You've completely moved on. You completely ghosted this person or, or they didn't talk to you anymore. Either they ghosted you, but I think a lot of y'all really ghosted this person. Or maybe they ghosted you and you just didn't reach out like maybe you normally do. Yeah, King of Cups. See, they're used to playing with you emotionally, but uh-uh. Virgo energy. But anyway, clarify this Three of Cups for us. What's going on with this? Why is the Three of Cups here? Because, you know, anytime that's there, let's see, from the top. And thank you. Three, two, Three of Cups. Yeah, but and one. I feel like this is somebody in the sidelines that's unspoken. Like this person... The Empress. Ooh, this is their baby mama. This is somebody that they used to uh, have seeds with. Wow, this is somebody that got pregnant. And if they're if the person's not pregnant, this is somebody that they they've been building a lot with. Yeah, this is the person they were building with behind your back. Yep, that's exactly who this is. Four of Wands. Wow. So this. Oh my God. For some of you guys, this, this person married this person behind your back. They have a wife that you that you didn't know about. This is why there was always roller coasters. Oh my gosh. This is also for some of you guys, this could be somebody's co-worker or friend. I'm telling you, it's, it's also giving spy, bro. This is most definitely someone that he was celebrating. I meant, I say he, but it doesn't have to be. It's just masculine energy that was dealing with the empress. But this person, ooh. Yes, and she was child. The feminine here was bossed up. They gave her money and all. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Death card. 
Wow. So that's that's ending. I'm telling you, all that stability that that they thought they had with this with the fake ass empress on the other end. Nope. So yeah. I feel like people are watching you right now. Anyway, I don't even want to get into that storyline, but anyway. Yeah, I feel like you yep, it's it's all because you close out all these cycles that these karmas are coming to the surface. Okay? Yep. That's part of the Akashic Records and the Soul Contract. But that's okay. This person doesn't understand that. They thought you weren't going to see that they went to a witch on some of you guys. If you've been... And for those of you guys, this is only for those of y'all who know it was that. Yeah. Who know you were loyal to this person. Ooh. It could be a Leo here. Somebody is really loyal to the dark side. This person could even be a warlock for some of y'all. Wow. I didn't even see Hierophant. This person could really be a, a fucking warlock for some of you guys. Whether they're a, a known, like a knowing one or not. This is someone who, if someone smokes a lot of marijuana as well, they could be a warlock and they don't know it because they're dealing with roots and the other side. I don't want to go there, but I've already talked about that before on my channel, but maybe one day I'll make another video. But remember, when we smoke marijuana, we're opening up other realms as well. That's fact. Okay, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, three of swords. This is why these other witch bitches are able to attach to these people like that. Yeah, hey man, they're trying to sacrifice you through heartbreaks, but that just didn't work anymore. So this person, whoever put you in a third party, whoever just played on your top, no, they're being sacrificed at this time. But the reason why they are being held upside down and they're pretty much on pause, like nothing's going right for them, is because now they're having to sit in their karma. Because like I said, you're not the only person they did this to. But anyway, I'm about to end this. I'm going to do the world card and then we're going to get out of here because I don't want to make it too much longer. Go ahead and clarify the world card, please. Thank you. But star, yep. So as you close out these cycles, um, you're realigning. Um, I feel like there was a big breakdown, though. I feel like, you know, this is, I feel like this was, see, this spiritual awakening was a lot different than you thought it was going to be. Somebody could be an Aquarius here, but you could have. That the person that you close out with could have been an Aquarius or you could be the Aquarius. Um, either way, it doesn't like it doesn't have to be Aquarius. Either way, it's just like you're in a more free thinking, free flowing type of energy because this person really kept you in a in a loop karmic cycle. But you're over that because you saw a bigger picture and you just wanted to earn your respect. And you definitely you most definitely have earned this person's respect. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, fucking justice card, ten of pentacles, and nine of cups. They see that you get everything that you want, deserve, and more. And they see that it comes with, bitch, some vengeance on it. Like, they know your ancestors are coming hard. You know how they know? Because your ancestors are whooping their ass. And they know it. Whether they want to admit it or not, they know that this is the universe. They know it. Because it's almost like, for some of you guys, everything that they've been wishing for, you've been getting it. <laughs> wow. Okay, clarify the star card, please. Thank you. King of Wands, yep. Because I'm telling you, yeah, they really played on you. But your your manifesting powers are getting stronger. Yeah, somebody thought you was gonna be a player forever until <laughs> they thought you was gonna be a player forever. They thought you was gonna get played on forever until you found your soulmate. Now, see, this person you thought they were your soulmate before. So whenever you thought they were your soulmate, for some of you guys, they always kept you in in, in your head. They took advantage. That was a test from the divine. They never probably wanted to apologize either. They never apologized. They just wanted to always start over and shrug it under the rug, but uh-uh. And you you let them, you let that happen for a while, but you were like, nah, this is no longer even give and take because there's a snake in the grass. There's always a third party. Look, snake right there. So, but anyway, the reason why your, your gifts are, are ascending like this is because you defeated this warlock. I, I'm telling you, this is a warlock. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Yep. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Look at that. You can't tell me that don't look like... Come on now. Look at the picture. What's going on here? Seven of Cups also means... It definitely means illusions and everything. But it also means um, like mysteries, the occult, like different gifts. Like you're unlocking different gifts. So you had to overcome this, this spirit that was within this person. So it's really deeper than some of us realize. So I'm going to keep it a little... I'm, I'm going to stop it here, you know. Tune in to, for the next one because, you know, we going to get... Yeah. But anyway, I'm proud of you guys because I'm proud of you you all because this is not easy. Like I said, this is meticulous energy. It's very much what you're already used to. So you damn near got in, in the bed with this person thinking like, okay, like, yeah, maybe they're a little playful. Maybe they're a little player, whatever. Maybe they're not everything I want, but X, Y, Z, they give me good money. They give me good X, Y, Z. They give me, they, I don't know, whatever. It's beneficial to you. But I feel like once you go ahead and show the spirit that you can drop that 
um, which I feel like a lot of you guys have done that. And this is why this person is so confused because you were in that energy for so long, but now you're like, mm, I see a better way. Like spirit must've really been working with you guys. And I see it. You went through a lot of dark night of the souls and you're going to continue to go through those. You, you almost went shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. This person brought some parts of you that out of you that you didn't know you had good and bad. So I just, I'm happy for y'all. You overcame this warlock type energy. Like I said, whether they know they're a warlock or not. Yeah. Yeah, Ten of Cups, that's the truth. Your ancestors came through to be like, hey, we're, we're warning you. See, and, and you you passed the test because you were still you were still obedient. You were obedient and ended this where it was supposed to be ended. So congratulations. 